Hey everybody, this is Ian O'Byrne again. I'm taking a look at Trello and how I use Trello as a way to get things done and organize my schedule. I have previous videos on my organization of Trello. Um, this video is going to focus on how I use Trello on my Android device. So my Android phone, my Google Pixel XL at this point is my daily driver. I've always used Android phones. Um, I tend to like the way that I can add widgets and, and hack away at it and add some functionality. Um, so I want to talk about my use of Trello on Android. And once again, my belief is that I want my data to be ubiquitous, meaning that I can access it across multiple places. I might be working at home, I might be in my office, I might be in a classroom teaching, I might be on the road, I might be out at a conference presenting, I might be sitting on my couch watching TV with my kids, I might be in the car driving someplace. Um, so I need my data to, to follow me wherever I go um, and, pr and make it easy enough for me to get in and get out and sort of keep track of things or take notes or whatever the case may be. I also need to have my data or my use of this data be device agnostic. So the ubiquitous access of data is important, um, but I want to be able to use different devices all different times. Um, so that means going to a browser, that means going to a phone, an Android phone in this case, it means going to an Android tablet or an iPad or an iPhone. I need to be able to get in and get out at any point and not be stuck if I don't have a specific device. So this video is going to look at Trello and my use of Trello on Android. So go to the other video, take a look at how I use Trello to organize and, and structure or try to structure my life. Um, but I want to take a look at Trello. So my Trello board is set up. So today I have a blog post that I'm supposed to knock out um, and I have it, revisions that I have to complete today. And I'm, I'm also thinking about other research pieces I'm sending out. And so my Trello board is, as usual, chock full of things that I have to do, um, and then also things that I like to do. And so the way that I try to keep myself sane in all of this is I need to be able to check in and out pretty quickly on my phone. One of the things that I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make sure that I sort of look at my to-do list first thing in the morning before things get crazy and identify like really what do I need to have done today. So that's part of this like to-do today. Um, this is my three things that have to get done today. It keeps me organized. But then I also want to make sure that I check out my to-do list at the end of the day. I want to look at it at night. And it's not really thinking about, okay, did I achieve this? Because if after I'm done this video, if I sit down and work on my revisions for these two different publications, as soon as they're done, I'll knock them off and archive them. But I want to sit down at the end of the day at night and sort of reflect on the day and think about, okay, well, what do I want to do tomorrow? So that balance I found uh, is important for me um, because it sort of saves me from feeling frustrated uh, about not getting things done. So I'll work busy, you know, I'll be busy during the day and get things done, but sometimes I get a little bit frustrated that I don't feel like I did anything. Um, and so this tends to be helpful for me. So first thing in the morning, I'll check my to-do list and make sure things are done. But then also at the end of the day, I want to sit down, you know, as I'm sort of unwinding, thinking about the next day and thinking about, okay, well, what are things tomorrow that I really need to do? Because then when the next morning starts and I review my to-do list for the day, I can sort of double check and, and it's a lot quicker to think about, okay, is this still the priority for today or did something pop up overnight? So it's helpful for, for me to do it at the end of the day and then also first thing in the morning as I get started and then throughout the day check in. Um, and then the reason why it's important for me to do this on a device is that I can just quickly sit down and this should only take a minute max. I can sit down and think about, okay, what do I really need to attend to that day? So if I'm thinking about how to make this thing happen on my phone, once again, Android is my uh, phone or device of choice. So if I go in and I pull up the Trello app, if I had different boards in the past, I would have boards that I was working on with other people, but I have my main board set up here. And you can see that it, it's very nice because it basically follows those same uh, stacks or those lists that I have elsewhere. And I can see other things um, and what I need to do. So if I needed to, I could, um, you know, add a new list here with all the other ones. I can look at my next in line goals. 
I can go through and, you know, my research that I'm conducting, if I had uh, a colleague email me and say, well, who was that person that we needed to get in touch with? I can quickly go into my lists or the cards and grab that information and copy paste it out to them. Um, but for the most part, I can sort of look through my list and figure out what do I need to do? So one of the things that I might want to do is say, okay, you know, my blog post here, I don't have time to get it done today. So let's say, first off, you know, emailing materials to Madison. If I wanted to, I could add a note, um, you know, uh, add files to thumb drive. And once again, I love the fact that there's sort of like spell check and the and the predictive text on my phone. It helps me really quickly knock out notes. I can add descriptions to this. I can add titles. I can add all of the other stuff that I normally would add on uh, the browser. The other thing that's nice is that I can, if I want to, I can archive, delete this. Um, so I can archive this and then it doesn't show up on my list. And then obviously it's moving off of my list um, on my browser. The other thing that's nice about this is if I'm looking at my day and I, you know, it's it's about halfway through the day and I and I feel like I don't have time to get something done, I could say, okay, this blog post here, that doesn't really need to be done today. I'm going to move this thing over to Friday, okay? So I can quickly move things around and change things um, on this app um, and not worry about it and it's going to automatically sync over to my browser so the changes that I made if I go back to my browser I can basically come in and see okay well here are the changes that I made and, and things that are different I can see this blog post here it's sort of grayed out and it's taken a little bit of time I haven't dealt with this and I need to um, so it's not really appropriate it should be you know, this should be over here in next in line, um, or I can take it and say, okay, this week, Tuesday, I will have some time to make sure that I get this done. And then if I go back to my phone, what's nice is that I can see that this has already been updated on my phone. Okay, so no big surprise. Um, so it's helpful for me if I'm going to use Trello as my to-do list. It's helpful for me to have it on my phone because the phone is always with me and the phone is something that um, is not really that big of a deal to sort of pull over, you know, pull out for a minute or two and review my to-do list and check off things and make sure that I'm attending to everything that I need, uh, I need to. The last thing that I really like about um, Trello on Android that helps me is some of my information I want at a glance. I don't want to go dig through the app and, and go figure out where is the app and, and pull the information out. One of the things is I want to have information at a glance on my device so I can sort of look down and figure out, okay, what am I doing? Um, and one of the things that I use is this uh, app widget for Trello. What I've found is that the, the normal widgets that Trello gives you, I don't really like. I prefer this very simple um, app that uh, Orion M, I believe it is, put out. Um, so I use that on my device. And the nice thing is, if I slide over, I have my keep widget on the bottom, but then up top, I have this widget set up for Trello. So I can quickly click on it and move into my app but then the nice thing is it should also let me know what I need to attend to. So I can see that email headspace to Madison is still on that widget, so it's not refreshed yet. But widgets work pretty easy. On this, on Android, I can basically pull it up. I can go down to that Trello widget. And I can basically pull it into my screen wherever I want to. I can pick different lists so these are the lists that I set up in Trello Trello and I can say okay I want to have a projects list I hit okay and it'll pull this widget up on my uh, home screen the normal apps the normal widgets that they give you in Trello I don't like as much so I have like a, a card so I can add a card um, if I want to right away so as I'm moving around if I want to just use this as basic notes I can add that in uh, I don't see a lot of use for that, at least not the way that I use Trello. Um, what I can also add is 
I can have uh, assigned cards. So if I was working on a team and I had things that I was assigned, I could real quickly check it out. Um, and then if I wanted to, I could have this sort of add card widget. And the nice thing is with this, if I was using Trello as a way to sort of keep track of different events and notes and tasks, I could sort of, you know, add in some text here and create a card with an image very quickly. So for me, this doesn't really work um, because I use, as I've talked about previously, I use Google Keep for a lot of just quick notes. Um, and I don't want to integrate my note taking into Trello. Um, there are certain times that I do use Trello for note taking, um, but it's m basically all around projects. So once again, that's my use of Trello on Android. Android is my primary device. Um, you know, my, my daily driver is a phone. I'll have other videos about using Trello on iOS and elsewhere, but I wanted to provide this co these companion pieces to some of the browser apps because it helps me get my work done and I think it'll help you get your work done as well. So once again, if you like the videos, please subscribe. Uh, please give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Let me know if I got something right or wrong. Um, let me know if something is a little bit weird with the, the setup or the, the recording. Um, and by all means, have a great day.